Hello there. In this video, uh, we're gonna talk about uh, how do we use the TT bit uh, in the uh, timer structure uh, in, in the ladder logic. Right? So TT bit is a little bit different from uh, the previous video. We talk about the dump bit. Right? So let's look at the uh, example first. Right? So uh, while well, the push button, which is normally open, pressed, the horn is energized. The horn is on for three seconds or for a period of time, or when the PB is released, whichever comes first. So if you look at the timing diagram, right, when PB is pressed, the horn will be energized for three seconds. So this, this situation uh, here uh, on top, the first one you can see the PB pressed longer than three seconds, but maybe five seconds on there, right? But uh, the horn only energized for three seconds. Uh, for the second time, you can see the PB pressed uh, only for one second, and then the horn only uh, energized for one second. Right, so that that means whichever comes first, right? It, it, the longest is three seconds, but could be shorter than three seconds. It depends on the timer, right? So as you can see, this uh, this time period we want program is different from the dump bed, right? If you look at the previous slide, for the dump bed, it's always uh, something that you can see here the trigger change. Right. After the period of time, we want action. We want action right after the timing period. Right. You can see here, also same thing here. After five seconds, we want to have some action. After this three seconds, we want to have some action. So the, ac the action always come after the time period of time. That, that's why we use dumb bit. But the one we talk about the horn, it's the one uh, well then the timer is running. We want to take action right away, so that's it's different. So from here, you can see the on the timing diagram, right? That that tells the difference. So again, you can see the timing there. So with TT bed, and compared with the dump bed, it's different. So dump bed only take action after this two seconds, and TT bed focus on this two seconds running time. So that's why uh, they have a different uh, uh, functionality. Then uh, we we use different ways to do that. All right. So let's look at the the, uh, the program on the PLC. So we use obviously we use a push button to trigger the uh, t the timer, and then after that we can we can just use the T5, which is the tag, right? T5 dot TT bit to Directly energize the horn, so that will give us the uh, the action on uh, here, All right? So, for example, if you button press shorter than three seconds, maybe only one second, that TT bit only lasts for one second, so that meet the requirement whichever comes first, All right? So over here, I just use that uh, later on. Uh, we'll look at that. Uh, after that, so uh, let's just look at a demo, right? So uh, for this demo, uh, I set up on the uh, instead of three second, I set up as a five second. I right? just want you to get enough time to to look at the result right? on the on the horn. So right now, PB you can see here is off. The horn is also off, right? So if I toggle that. Right, the button press, right, the horn is on, and if I keep pressing that, right, I still uh, press the button, right. Uh, but the timer finished the timing, then the TT bit turns off. So that's why the horn will de-energize after the period of time expired, right. So this is the with TT. Uh, TT bit uh, can also uh, make it shorter than, than the period of time. Right? For this time, if I briefly press button, you can see the horn on. But I turn release button, and then the horn de-energize. So that's the one we want to have, uh, whichever comes first. Right? Toggle bit again, only for the p p brief period of time, the, that's de-energize. Right? So this is the uh, the, the demo with the TT bit. So uh, what I have on the bottom of here is just let you to uh, 
notice that that's the equivalent of logic, right? So with TT, with the program, obviously that's the better choice. There's only one instruction, one member. But that's the equivalent with enabled and not done, right? So uh, if you want, you can we can look at the demo again, right? So whenever TT is on, these two should be on, right? Let me click on here. They, they both become true, right? Whenever the TT become off, right, the combination of these two will be off, right? So that's why they are equivalent. So what what do I want to put over here is that so that can be used to uh, as a hint to the re relay logic. So for for example, this is our PLC solution, right? So if we want to have a relay solution without PLC. How are we going to do with this type of uh, requirement? So you can see here, this is the ladder logic, right? Uh, push button, energize a real timer, a physical timer, right? And then uh, in order to get the enable bit, right? Because the uh, normally the timer doesn't have the, uh, uh, the in instant output, so that's why we parallel with a control relay. So we have two of them in parallel. So the button will energize both coil in the same time. So when the CR1 coil being energized, this one become closed right away. And then we take the normally closed time open from the timer, right? Because it's normally closed, and here it's closed, then you will have the current to pass through to energize the horn. Right. But if you keep pressing the button, after the period of time on the timer, this one will become open, timed open. So that will cut off the current, so the horn will be silenced. Right. So this is the equivalent design on the uh, on the relay. All right. So below there, you can see that there's even a, a simpler design. That depends on the uh, the capacity of your button, right? Because with your button, if you design it this way, you want to use one button to energize the timer and also the without the relay, right? With, and also with the horn in the same time, right? So if the your button has the uh, high capacity with the current, you can do that. But uh, like over here, the current will pass not only energize the Coil on the t uh, t timer. Also, you energize the horn. All right. So if your button is low uh, current capacity, you will have to use this design because this one not directly using the button, right? Instead, using the relays as interposing relay, relay, and then the contact will energize the horn. Right. So as you can see. Um, we have the uh, equivalent uh, equivalency between the PLC and the relay logic, right? So they, they are always almost you can find the, the equivalent design from uh, PLC side and from relay side, right? And uh, but if you compare them, obviously PLC solution is uh, it's better, it's clean, right? Uh, first, we don't need to have those physical control uh, uh, device, right? So even with this simple design, you still need a real physical timer. But with PLC, we don't need to have any physical timer. Instead, we use a instruction. And then we use the tag to uh, represent the contacts. All right. So with the TT bit, uh, I, uh, I'd like to talk about the uh, our old friend, uh, <laughs> the other circuit. Uh, with the uh, vibrator for the pin buckets, the the, the the bucket shaker, right? So remember that uh, we talk about a pneumatic solution, and also uh, we talk about the electrical timer solution, right? So this is the uh, electrical timer solution on here, right? At that time, we have a timer, we have a control relay. Uh, that's from my uh, previous video, all right? So uh, now, once we have a PLC, uh, can we do it in, in PLC? Of course we can, right? We can even have a better solution, right? So uh, again, just briefly talk about that. Uh, so we want to have uh, when button pressed, and then we have the three second 
uh, or whatever the time you set up for the period of time. So that's what we call the fixed length. So even then you uh, press the button, you still have the three seconds. Uh, if that's the uh, requirement, then that's the solution. Only this time, because we we just learned about the TT bed, right? So we don't ha we don't need those sort of uh, control logic on the uh, on the relay. You can see it, it's very clean now. So same again, right? So this 301, this round directly translate into here. Exam on limit switch and the jazz Y1, and then we have the button. We have a button here to trigger the timer. Again, there's no physical timer. Instead, a, a instruction, and then over here we use the control relay to seal in here. Right? Let me clean a little bit, clear that. Right? So over here uh, on the electrical design, we use the control relay contact to seal in here, and in PLC we don't need that. We have the TT bed. We can directly use TT bed to seal in to uh, to latch, right? The push button. And then with the timer running, right? If we use the TT bed again, again, not only use the seal in, also we can use that as the timing. So between these two limit switches, same thing as here, directly translate into here in parallel. So when we have the TT bed, right? So we can directly energize the Y2. All right. So this is the uh, PLC design with the bucket shaker, right? So uh, I have the picture here. I can show you uh, in the real action oh, here. All right. So this is in the in the lab, right? So you can see that's the, the cylinder here, and uh, the the three uh, position, right? In the middle and retract and extend. Right now, cylinder is at extend position. You can see the sensor is on. That's the starting position, right? And then that's the double solenoid valve to control the cylinder. And then you can see everything. I uh, only need uh, the push button con control here. And this used to be the timer. I didn't connect anything on here. And this is the relay. I didn't connect anything here, right? You can see with PLC, we don't need we don't need those control device anymore. We directly connect them into PLC. This is PLC input output box and then that's the PLC. Uh, over here I have a PLC program uh, enter in there. I'm running online so that's why you can see the action. Uh, I have a video so I can show I can show you on here. Right? So the video is here. Alright. So button being pressed, you can see the action running, and then that's the program, exactly the same program I show you on the slide, and then after a period of time, the cylinder stop. All right. So that's the action with the PLC. Let's go back to here. All right. So uh, let's talk about another one. Uh, the second option, extended lens. Right. Remember we talk about. Uh, if we want extended, right? So, for example, uh, you press PB for only brief time. You want three seconds, but if you press and hold the button for actual long time, so not only you want the first three seconds, you want to keep that period of time as long as the button being pressed. So, how do you want to do do that? If you remember with the electrical. Right. It's quite of the design with Oblier. Uh, I can briefly talk about that. We use a push button to energize a second control relay, CR2. Right. So then we use the CR2 instead of button here because button there's only one. If there's only one set of contact, right. So we use CR2-1, one set of only open contact. Right. Again, this is a interposing relay. So we use uh, the uh, one set of contact on here in, in the place of push button. Then in the same time, we want to parallel here. right? So parallel here, we use CR2-2. right? So this is the timing period for the three seconds. This is 
uh, the push button, right? Whenever the button press, this one is closed. So that's the solution for the electrical, right? But in the PLC, it comes even more cleaner, right? So we don't need the all those control relay. So we can directly come down over here, create another parallel branch. Then, because remember that push button, once you connect into PLC, it becomes a tag. It's not a physical push button anymore. Of course, we can use another one on here. Right, so it's different from here. With this, there's only one set of contact from the button we assume. But in the PLC, once you connect into the memory, it becomes a memory bed. So of course, it has unlimited use of on there. So you can use PB one dash three again on here. So then you're done. All right. So as you can see on here, less PLC solution is even better, right? So it's very easy to improve, to change, compare with the electrical solution.